I, I, just how would you sum up that that defensive performance? Uh, good game. We got the win, so we're excited about it. Um, we, to be honest, we know we can play a little bit better. We had some miscues in there, um, so good win against a really good offense, and we're excited about it. What miscues specifically? Uh, just you know, a couple touchdowns here that you know we could have been in a better spot, um, could execute a little bit better, or I could have got us in a better call. But um, our expectations are high, really high, higher than most people would think. So we, we think we can play better. Yeah, and and that seems like something that's happened a lot. Like the first Weber drive from the Colorado, like there's just. A, a moment, a drive or two that that just is they drive down the field on you, and then after that, it's just clamped down. What? Why do you think that that's happened so often? Oh, I think the other offenses practice. <laughs> they do a good job getting after us, and our players do a good job uh, kind of weathering the storm and getting back to it. So. And what do you think were the the biggest adjustments from you, or just from from the team in general after they scored? You know, those two touchdowns. Uh. Guys just tackling, getting guys on the ground, and uh, getting us in some better calls to what they're doing. Um, but ultimately, the guys executed well, and we tackled better, and did a really good job on third down against, I think they were the number one third down team um, in the conference, uh, in the country, um, on third down offense. So, and then it helped a whole lot that our offense had the ball for 36 minutes, and we had a lot of time to talk about what they were doing, and I don't think we would have played as well if, if we flipped that thing and they had the ball for 36 minutes. So it was a full team deal. Can't give us even just a little taste of the scheme uh, scheme changes or uh, or calls or anything like that? No, we don't change much from week to week. We may change our disguises or our looks, but it's execution of everything for us. Where does that expectation of just being the best in that confidence come from within the group? Uh, I don't know. We talked about it from spring ball, from – ball camp, you know, and into the season, and guys see that if we run to the ball hard, and you know, offenses practice too, they're going to do some good stuff, but we play hard, we'll, we'll limit those plays, and go back go back and start over, um, and then we just pride ourselves being great on third down, being different on third down, causing uh, issues for quarterbacks on third down, so they take pride in it, so uh, our guys, are they know we play well, we won a big game, but we know we can play better, and our goal is to get better each from week to week, regardless of who we play. Early in the week, but what stands out to you about Idaho's <clears throat> offense? Man, you guys don't think I'm like lying or something, but they got three backs that can run. The quarterback won, went to the national championship at West Florida. I remember game planning him when I was at Mayo Western State, um, when we were playing him, I think it was an 18 or whatever, so he can throw. The receivers, they got a transfer from Western Kentucky that can roll, who plays the right way. The receivers play the right way. They play hard, they play tough, they run good routes, they're well coached. Um, we're trying to figure out how they're three and six. Um, so it's a good football team. We better be ready to go. And they're gonna come in and give us their best. So I know sometimes we come in and we say that, you know, they're, you know we sit, give the coach speak, but they're a good football, they're talented. We better, we better be rolled. And our players heard us loud and clear. On a winning streak like this, how do you go about trying to ensure that there's no drop off, that there's no, you know, all of a sudden you lose to a game in a game like Idaho? Uh, we just go back to go back to work. We don't really, you know, we win, we lose, no matter what. It's 24 hour rule. We move on to the next to the next game. So the meetings, we're not high fiving our guys when we when we're in meetings. We're correcting them and we're trying to we're telling them what they did good, but we're trying to get better and improve for the next week. There was a couple of plays in there that. You know, weeks ago, we messed up on it, and we made the play because we corrected it weeks ago in this game um, on, the, on the reverse pass, Madre, um, against Portland. He ran all across the field. They threw the ball back. This time, they tried to throw it back, and he was right there. They got some yards. We got a penalty on it, but that was supposed to be an explosive for them, and it wasn't. So our, we're all about the process of getting better, and our players are too. So. Senior day uh, coming up this Saturday. What has your group of seniors meant to you Special, special group, I think. Um, this is a special group that, that we're getting to coach, and it's rare that you get this opportunity. But I told them today that, um, yeah, we got to go through senior day. It's a formality, but we got a game to play. And we're going to honor them, but 
we don't want this to be our last time playing in Bobcat Stadium. So we're going to go out and shake hands, and I, I told him, screw your senior day. We'll, we'll have dinner, and we'll celebrate after we got a game to win. So, uh, One of those seniors, Troy, getting conference player of the week. What do you think of his performance against Eastern? Oh, Troy is playing well. Uh, he's played well. He plays well every game. We're excited about him. and Tackles well, and is really dialed into the game plan. Should have had a pick six, but you know he'll he's still pissed off about it, which is what you love about him. Um, so it's it's a special group, and um, they're gonna prepare well. And our focus is all the way all the way on Idaho. They got our full attention. Trust me, after we watched the film this morning. Was he awarded any butterfinger yeah. candies? Yeah, he got some butterfingers. This week I didn't throw it to him. I said I'm not making fun of you anymore. Because I'm like reverse psychology. Um, <laughs> drop every pick, and now you catch them all. So yeah, they get butterfinger for butterfinger candy for uh, PBU. So uh, what did you think of James and his return? Played well. He wasn't timid or anything. Tackle well. Was on top of routes and dialed into the game plan. We're, it's, it's, it's a whole lot easier when he's back. Trust me. With, oh, with how many injuries that position group here, defensive backfield, has had this year? Now you've got a good a number of guys back. Is that all of a sudden a really, really deep group that you guys can turn to quite a few guys there? Yeah, I mean, we always pride ourselves on playing more guys that are ready to go. We want to put them on the field, playing as many guys as we can. So yeah. now we can be fresher, play harder for longer. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of the goal. It seemed like uh, uh, Simeon played pretty well, too. Um, is, is that what you've diagnosed, too, with the, that he, was, he held up pretty well? That yeah, game? Simeon is a uh, young dude. I told him yesterday he came over to pick up his iPad or something, and I said, "You're not a rookie no more." And he's playing. He's playing. I mean, he's taking every challenge in man coverage. Everything ain't perfect. Never. Everything is never perfect. That corner. He's just competing his butt off, tackling. I mean, I don't want to give him too much praise because I want to keep him playing well. But he's doing a good job. We're excited about him. He's playing probably the best in that group right now. Did you feel like there was more, like pressure was a bigger key or coverage? Because it seemed like he was running around, Barry was running around a lot um, without having, having anywhere to go with it. Uh, I think it was a mix. Our, our D-line was getting after him, but that's a slippery dude. And then we worked scramble drill all week to make sure we wouldn't get him. That's where he's most dangerous, when he's scrambling. So we worked scramble drill a bunch, and our guys did a good job executing and making sure if he scrambled that he got five yards or not 50. Um, so our D-line just kept, we knew we were going to miss him. I mean, everybody in the country does. So um, they just kept going after him, kept going after him. And when we got him down, we were excited. So. Yeah, was that Brody's best game? Uh, I mean, production-wise, yeah. But Brody's been playing well. It just stood out to, to the naked eye now. But he's been, he's been coming along um, the whole season. How much of a difference does Chase make when he's back? Uh, big difference. Spine of your defense is solid right there. Can't run it up the middle. So big, big difference when Chase is in there. We're going to wrap him in bubble wrap this week and get him ready. <laughs>